let's check this out. We're gonna do two live streams today. Very nice, and we're live. Awesome, awesome. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today is July 30th, 2020. And uh, we're doing an unannounced live stream, Randall. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Good morning, good morning. Uh, unannounced live stream. Um, it's a nice day, and I figured uh, I come out here and harvest some more of the grapes that we have down here, just the unripened grapes. And I want to prune some of the tomato uh, plants. Just get rid of the bottom leaves. I forget what it's called. It's called uh, it was called suckling lolly lolloping or something like this. Catholic tradition has mentioned what it was, but I forget what it was. Uh, the word. And I got for breakfast, uh, Razor Kill, how are you doing? Some blueberries and raspberries, just munch on. And we'll do the Speedy Gonzales style. We've got another live stream coming on this morning, or tonight, right? I hope you guys are doing well. Nothing like fruit. Hmm? There's a wasp. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> The wasp is smelling the the fruit. He's active early. But we're gonna do some. Uh, I should gotta bring some napkins here. I'll be right back. Look at. Them. Oh, I got some napkins here. Nice. I always keep napkins in your pocket. So let's put these guys here. I'm liking these unannounced live streams. I'm loving this, doing the work in the patio. Finished one of my strawberry liqueur jars yesterday. <laughs> it was too delicious to top off again. So you ate all the strawberries done, Coolio. <laughs> Hilarious. Vanessa, how are you doing? Good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. Oh yeah, I'll do a little intro. Might as well do a little intro until people uh, show up and chit chat with you guys. Uh, for those that are going to be watching this after the live stream, uh, because I'm pretty sure everyone here already knows what's going on. Bless it up, 69. How are you doing? Welcome to a live stream. We got the birds singing, the seagulls going. I am on Patreon. If you want to follow this work. Uh, I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's uh, Creative Commons, share and share alike. I still have a half a strawberry liqueur jar left and then pineapple, blueberry, and a pineapple, blueberry one. <laughs> uh, you can top off the, just top off enough, uh, the strawberry liqueur, just top off, uh, top, top it off enough to cover the strawberries, right? And if you think the sweetness is gone, if you didn't leave any liquid in the bottom, <laughs> <laughs> from the original batch you can add a little bit of sugar but just top it off with vodka and let it sit for another give it a shake give it a shake and uh, let it sit for a few more days and then taste it again it's going to be stronger there's no doubt about it but it still retain the flavor yeah i did that the other day should be good to go and there was still a little liquid at the bottom from the first one okay awesome and that'll add the sweetness to the to the new vodka that you're adding so it becomes stronger but it, it, it the change of flavor is not bad it still retains the strawberry flavor it's unique it's very good we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat live as it's happening over here twitch is where you want to be at okay Uncharted days. Hi Chicho, hope you are well. Been doing some gardening myself today. Nice, nice uncharted days. It's fun waking up and just you know getting your I haven't put on any tea yet or anything. What time is it right now? It's like almost seven o'clock, but I got I was doing some other work and I didn't put on my tea and whatnot. So I grabbed some water. I got my water, grab some water, come out to the garden. And do your thing, right? usually pretty peaceful when the sirens I'm going right actually even sirens are okay I do announce these live streams either right before we go live 
or 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gabs, Mines, VK, Allo, and Parlor. Parlor, I haven't loaded on this computer yet or set up all the tabs yet. Uh, so I didn't announce this one on Parlor yet, but I will at some point. Uh, a lot of the audio we're going to be putting on uh, soundcloud.com backslash chicho. If we're recording with the lapel mic, just open discussions. And we will be uploading, it's a gardening stream, we will be uploading to this to YouTube and BitChute. I normally only drink Oolang tea. Oh, Oolang tea is really nice at work after lunch. But this week I got decaffeinated green tea uh, with light lemon. Decaffeinated green tea. Yeah, green tea is a high in caffeine. So um, I'm okay with caffeinated stuff personally. I don't know what the process is to decaffeinate uh, teas and coffees and whatnot. Uh, so I'm a little apprehensive on the decaffeinated stuff. But most herbal teas are, uh, they don't have caffeine. So, dragons, how are you doing? Hey, what's up, Chicho? Morning, Chad. Good morning, good morning. I am too. But I try uh, to cut back on the caffeine afternoon. Okay. Slick Mick 99. Hey, Chicho. Uh, it's been like a week. Sorry, I'm not, uh, I've not been catching the streams. I've been working. No worries, man. No worries. I'll be at this for a long time, brother. So you can always catch the stuff later, watch them on YouTube. And work is important. You got to do your thing, man, right? A lot of people are looking for work. There's going to be a shift happening, right? Elder God, how are you doing? Good morning, Emily. How's life? Rooibos red tea is not caffeinated. Rooibos tea is really good. Super delicious. Tangy. Very tangy. Very tangy. Super delicious. Should we get to some harvesting? I want to do some of the grape leaves. Uh, just because I washed, I'm going to put up a picture most likely today or tomorrow of the previous grape leaves that we I cleaned and washed and let them dry and I put those in the freezer, but I we, we need some more. Real good with lemon. Double, double tanginess, right? Uh, but I want to harvest more grape leaves, more of the, not grape leaves, but uh, grape, unripened grapes, right? Because we end up using those in a lot of foods that we make, especially chicken, lemon, and obviously now that we're making dolmas and the dolmas. So it'd be good. Roibus tea. Roibus? Roibus red tea is your tea as well, other God, yeah? I have a little bit here, but I haven't, I haven't been drinking too much of it. Yeah, it's mental how busy my work is. Despite all the regulations, people just keep just can't get enough seafood. Is that where you work, Slick Mick? Like a seafood uh, store? Uh -huh. Wise man, Alder God. Uh, Rendell says, "Ding Bobber, how's how's life? Is this a bonus stream on top of the schedule, Chicho? Out, uh, Chicho out here is spoiling. Yeah, it's a bonus one." I don't know if it's bonus it's just uh things we need to do cheryl how are you doing figured we'll do a morning stream just in the garden uh, i'm enjoying the garden <laughs> so why not right we do it together yeah seafood restaurant seafood restaurant yeah salmon we did some barbecue salmon a couple of days ago so good so good that's crazy. I do retail and it's really busy. It's crazy. Oh, you're doing retail and it's really busy as well, Emily, eh? Wow, interesting. Interesting. Retail here isn't hasn't picked up as much. Restaurants, uh, there are some people, actually some restaurants are busy, but uh, there's a lot of people doing takeout and stuff like this. Nice surprise. Just sat down with my coffee. Awesome dragons. We have been canning a lot because of our of our gardener doing um, good. Yeah, yeah, we're like the grapes are insane this year. <laughs> it's like I'm looking at it, it's just a wall of grapes. So I need to harvest. I need to harvest. Let's do soaking in the top stream. <laughs> Pippi lover with the wife feeding you breakfast. Maybe maybe on another platform someday in the future elderly couple <laughs> all wrinkled up i don't think we'll get too many views <laughs> are these harvesting streams going to be translated into cooking streams um well we are using uh, some of the product that we're getting right 
like the grape, uh, the unripened grapes that we're harvesting, we do use in our cooking streams. The grape leaves we use in our cooking streams, I actually have to harvest more grape leaves as well. Uh, the tomatoes we're definitely going to be using once we get them. We started getting green. Uh, my mind is already fast. Caffeine will send me to the moon. For me, it's weird. Caffeine really doesn't affect me that much. Coffee does. It's a wacko on the tummy. But I can drink three cups of coffee and go to sleep. <laughs> you would think Corona uh, would slow it down, but not in Texas. Yeah, that's what I think. Weird. <laughs> laughing at the elderly couple. Anybody else notice the Karen uprising in the states with mandatory masks? Karens are popping out out of the woodwork. I don't know. I haven't. It's something. I think Karens are something that very much U.S. centric. I haven't seen anything going on in, where I am in Canada. All hail the Karens! <laughs> I hear humble dude. COVID is a joke. Well, I don't know. Not for people who have been affected. There's something going on. Peppy, Peppy lover. We looked at the data. We've looked at some stuff. We've done COVID streams. COVID talks there's something going on I don't think anybody really knows what's going on right what is it mm. we'll find out we can talk about it later tonight right. yeah I work at a place where most of our customers don't wear one uh, and we don't tell them because of how violent and rude people are about it oh really Emily oh I'm sorry to hear that I wish people would just leave people alone if people want to wear a mask, let them wear a mask. If people don't want to wear a mask, they don't have to wear a mask, right? You see young people wearing masks, but maybe they're living with really elderly family. That's nice. Elderly family. And they want to be cautious. They don't want to flip the coin, right? Even if they don't believe it's real, they don't want to flip the coin, right? Don't gamble with other people's lives and your life, really. Unrelated note, new episode of Why You Should Give a F uh, is out. Been thoroughly enjoying that series so far. Yeah, Coolio, fantastic series. The Real Newsnet puts out some really good work, by the way. Some of the stuff, I think, they're not good, but some of the stuff is fantastic. Just like anything, right? Even my work. Some of the stuff is good, some of the stuff is fantastic. <laughs> What's up, guy? Nicholas, how are you doing? Harvested by the new world order for a last resort. Image you show possibly, possibly most. Uh, I'm leaning on that front, but I still respect people if they want to live however they way they choose. Right? I heard a new word, pandemic. Yeah, that's been going around for a while. <laughs> talk later. Talk later. Is this a general chat stream? Or what kind of stream is this going to be? This is going to be harvesting grape leaves. I'm going to get to harvesting grape leaves, uh, grape uh, unripened grapes, and then we're going to try to prune some of the tomatoes. I've never done pruning of tomatoes. I've done pruning of other plants. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> of other plants. I don't know what it's called when you're cutting the. I forget the name when you're cutting the bottom leaves up. Right. Watch with caution, pandemic is rife with misinformation agreed but so is so are governments so so is any centralized any like the the misinformation and disinformation out there is insane 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 i'm i'm gonna start getting some uh, grapes done let's get some grapes let's get some grapes We got nice sun shining. Okay, we got a guy here. I'm just gonna do enough to fill this, right? And I'm washing them slowly and then separating them and then putting them in the freezer. Okay. I got my knife here. Or my scissors here as well. side of the rail uh, sorry where is it on this side of the railing we got hops growing on this side 
We've got grapes growing, and the hops are coming up, and they go up here. I, would, I should show you that once they're once they're full bloom. I'll show you guys this. It gives so many hops. If you guys know what to do with hops, I've heard you can make, you can well, you can make beer for sure. But I'm not going to make beer. Uh, and there's a place here where um, it's a company that actually, if you tell them you have hops, they come and harvest the hops uh, from your yard. Uh, but I've heard you can make some tinctures and stuff with hops. So at some point, uh, I'm going to look into this. But if you guys know Cheryl uh, or Catholic tradition, we see here or Dr. P. There's some people who are doing gardening. Uh, you should make beer, though. I know, <laughs> but I don't have the setup to make beer. Uh, and it gives a lot of hops. Uh, hops grow like mad, by the way. Hops grow like mad. this as well hops have these little um, like they they grab onto you right so if you here watch this see this that's how they expand they go everywhere like you go walk past them and they that's how they climb up trees and stuff look, look at this it just grabs on and just keeps on going right super cool super cool so what I try to do I try to keep the laneway clear right
to take a look. This is what we got so far. So that's not bad. I'm harvesting basically when they're about here. When they're about this size. <coughs> this size is pretty good, right? There are still a fair bit that are like small, smaller anyway. Donnie Tay, how are you doing? Like they're smaller, take a look. Where'd this one go? Look at the size difference, right? So I'm picking up some of the bigger ones. Oh, there's a spider there. Is that a spider? No, it's not a spider. So there's, I'm harvesting some of the ones that are, uh, you know, the grape leaves that are bigger, but there's some small ones up top, some bigger ones in the bottom, stuff like this. One of the reasons I'm harvesting some of these, even though they're a little small, we're getting, we're getting a lot of wind. So it's knocking off the grapes. So they look sparse right now, right? So I'm trying to get as many of the unripened stuff because they're when they're this size, they give a nice tangy, sour taste to the, to the food when we add it to them, right? But I'm gonna grab a couple more from here as well. Nice garden, thanks Danita. pretty good right and we end up using this all the whole time uh, the variety I you know what it, I haven't seen it mattering um, we used to harvest uh, at my grandma's house when she had a house we used to harvest uh, hers were yeah hers were green as well but we've done it with red grapes as well so when they're growing when the red grapes uh, are not as tangy as the green ones but it doesn't make a difference as long as they're unripened because unripened grapes are very tangy, sour, right? I haven't made sour jam. I, well, that, no, not true. Um, I made jam that is sour. I'm not sure if sour jam has a specific, uh, it refers to something. Unripened grape liqueur. Mm, I don't know. What would that taste like? Very tangy. We could try it. Maybe I'll try. Would it taste good? If I was gonna try it, I would only try it in a little jar just to see what it's like as a as a experiment, right? What's up, Chicho? Jick seven. Hello, hello. Good morning. By the way, gang, I saw at least one or a couple of follows come through. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Apologies uh, with <laughs> with honey yum. Red eye with sour grape red eye with sour cream i don't know what red eye is jick seven thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate it good morning <laughs> let's get a couple of more of these like this one was good like that this one was a good size. The grapes are really good. Okay. Nice size grapes. Good day, Nate. How are you doing? So fragile, we end up losing a fair bit when picking them. There's a whole bunch behind the tomatoes. Okay, that's good enough for now. You know, it takes me a little bit of time just to pick the grape leaves or the grapes off the off the vines right off the branches and then i wash them and the little bits of like this stuff you know floats up to the top okay so what i end up doing is um, i soak the grapes 
the unripened grapes. Like, there's no spraying or anything going on here, right? So what I do is I, I take these guys off and I put them in a bowl and then I soak them. And all this little extra stuff, like these things, right? These guys float up to the top and I scrape that stuff off and do a few iterations of that and we're good to go, right? We're good to go. Red eye, ever clear and sugar, ever clear and sugar. Oh, ever clear, ever clear. I remember from my younger days, ever clear is my, exactly. I've, I haven't touched uh, ever clear for decades, for decades, really. Uh, <laughs> Jig says, I salute, I salute the courage. Like drinking gasoline, yeah, yeah. Personally, uh, I'm trying to save the tummy, right? So yummy, really? Ever clear. Oof. Slick make. Whoa, bro, just saw that thing about the mid roll ads. F <laughs> YouTube. Dude, the mid roll ads, Slick make. Like the last gardening video I put up or something, I, I clicked on when I saved it. No mid roll ads. Okay. And then I found out mid roll ads got put in. <laughs> after after we loaded it up, after we did a premiere, I said no mid roll ads, you save it, no mid roll ads. And then they put in mid roll ads. So gang, if you're watching these videos on YouTube, okay, if you see mid roll ads or end of video ads, okay, on my videos, let me know. I'll go and manually delete them again. But if YouTube is doing this a lot, then I can't go back and keep on. I, I say no, and they put it in. Now, I don't know if they're gonna go through and once I go back and edit and say no again, they're gonna put it in again. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go through all of them constantly, if they're gonna continue to do this, to say no. It's like, have you ever done, like I don't, I never, uh, I always turn off YouTube autoplay, right? But every few weeks, it goes back on again. Like YouTube resets it to play again. It's like, damn it! <laughs> I said no. <laughs> it's like they should, they should, they should understand what no means. No means no, right? But it is what it is. It is what it is. So just a heads up. If, if. If you see mid-roll ads or end of video ads on my videos on YouTube, let me know. I'll remove them again. I mean, that's the best I can do. The other choice is watch these videos on BitChute. No ads on BitChute. Okay. Everclear was the first time my real meal ended up on the street after drinking. <laughs> Jake says, you can add fruity flavors. You can, yeah. Nemo smokes. Everclear is the worst. Haha, <laughs> I remember mixing uh, Everclear Hawaiian punch and citrus fruit. Oh, that doesn't taste good. It doesn't sound good. Twice as bad coming back as it was going down. <laughs> Baby lover says rookies, rookies. <laughs> Gold schlager. Oh, there's our bumblebee back again. Nice. A friend of mine made moonshine with some of some and my stomach was having none of it. Yeah, moonshine is hardcore. Homemade moonshine? I've had a friend that made used to make anyway. What do you expect from the big tech he uh, hearing? Yeah. What do I expect from the big tech hearing? Man, nothing. Nothing. YouTube is the devil. PP Lover says. Yeah, YouTube has gotten user unfriendly the past few years. Big time. And creator unfriendly like the amount of look the amount of work that YouTube this Google destroyed that I had done when they removed annotations from their videos I used to spend hours I, I had spent hundreds of hours annotating my videos just to make sure everything was linked up properly and then they removed it that's like hundreds of hours of work down the toilet right so and then they Google removed their uh, 
what do you call it pix whatever it was for sharing images and stuff mm. yeah I don't trust them Ling Robert Chicho uh, are you monetized on SoundCloud yet just wondering uh, not yet I'm not sure how to monetize it but I'm not monetized as far as I know I'm not no I'm not no because I would have had to do something right I only have 68 followers on SoundCloud right now teeny weeny there's a way to do it there's a way to do it for SoundCloud yes YouTube constantly messes up my feed sometimes clicking one video opens a floodgate of similar video yeah. some of my COVID guys don't have any ads at all Slick make me YouTube. Do you promise not to pull mid roll ads in my favorite YouTube YouTubers video? YouTube, well, yes, but actually, no, yeah, basically. Right. Big tech and corporate conglomerates will never change DNC and rhino cash cows. Yeah, YouTube will find their uh, seat missing when the music stops. I agree with Elder God. There's, there's a floodgate, there's tons of disruptive innovation popping up, right it is what it is right should we prune some tomatoes i'm gonna do just cut back the bottom stuff a little bit okay let me show you um by the way let me see if i can bring this take off my glasses get dizzy okay later later peep peep lover hope you're having a good day get a string and tie that up so when I bring it over to you guys to show you it's not gonna fall over actually I can do it right now Hold on. Let's do it like this. check this out see our little squashes right pretty cool I don't know what they're called they're like oh, we lost one oops I will show it to you when it comes off, okay? When I put this back. But pretty cool. All right? Let's put this guy back. more butter lettuce here right I haven't harvested this one yet that one doesn't get too much sun but that's okay it's these guys here no i don't cook with the squash blossoms can you cook with the squash blossoms cheryl it's these guys check it out this is the squashes we lost one unfortunate should have left it on there they're actually really yummy
So, do you take them off, Cheryl? Do you take them rest of <laughs> that's not be squash balls? Do you take off the leaf after you see the squash? Or not the leaf, the flower after you see the squash? I once grew about 30 squash plants. Each was about as big as the one you showed, but not a single squash grew on the plants. Oh no, really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe you didn't have enough bugs, bees, because of uh, colony collapse disorder. Yeah, that's unfortunate. These things, I mean, we had six squashes at least. On them. Yeah, we have a bunch there, and we got another bigger one over here. It's like nice squashes, nice squashes. Okay, harvest, not harvest. Let's uh, prune some tomato. I just want to get rid of the bottom leaves a little bit. Okay, uh, because that's what we do with cannabis. And Catholic tradition has mentioned that you should do this with tomatoes as well. And here's some tomatoes. I don't know if you can see this. There's a light shining on it. We got like a bunch of tomatoes growing here. So there's a whole bunch of tomatoes. And we have, we have a big tomato plant over here on this side. See this? This is tomato and it's like big. We got a hanging tomato. It's already given tomatoes. I had blackberries, blueberries nearby that did absolutely fine. Maybe the bugs preferred those plants over the squash yeah maybe it's been a mystery to be uh, uh to be since it happened wow just a reminder return in 12 hours for the real chat other oh, gods yeah politics we do is it 12 hours now 8 p.m tonight we do politics live stream okay just got back from my daily 10 a.m uh workout walk nice what did i miss what did you miss uh you missed squash Here's a little, I showed a squash plant and this guy fell off. Let's take some of these leaves down. Here, let's do this guy first. I'm gonna cut these and I have a bucket for, uh, yeah, so young the squash. I'll get a bucket for just uh, leaves, whatever we take off, right? not gonna take off any of the uh, stems that have flowers on them This one had flowers growing on it, but it was coming into the where the chair is. Like this is sort of a seating area, so it's okay. Heading out. Have a good rest of the stream. You too, Donita. Have a have a, have a great day. I'll be asleep by then. But sorry folks, no worries, smokes. We'll have the video up on YouTube and YouTube. We have no leaves yellowing, so which is a great thing, really. So I'm not pruning those things.
that's good enough. Just a little bit, right? I'm taking off these guys as well. These little guys. Okay. I mean, actually, unfortunately, what I ended up doing is I put a cucumber plant here so I didn't realize our tomatoes were gonna grow so high like these things like seriously they were just like this big and this is the first time we're doing tomatoes in this area and I didn't think they were getting enough Sun I didn't think they were gonna go ballistic but what's happening is they're getting Sun from this end and we have windows here so they're getting reflections of light here too so it's really growing fast so this cucumber should have been over here and this tomato should have been over here right but next time we know better we can't move it now everything's locked in together Big leaf, but it's at the bottom, so might as well get rid of it. And a little weeding. get tomato uh, porn worms in BC? I don't know. I, I've never heard of that before. Horn worms in BC, sure. Not that I know of. Not that I, I've never, I've never had tomatoes get any type of worms that I've grown. So, I don't think so, I guess. Do have uh, I think we're going three different types of tomatoes we got the little cherry tomatoes growing uh, heirloom tomatoes uh, something else I think we have three or four different types of tomatoes growing
this guy. And there. This one's got flowers on it, so I'm not going to cut it. But I am going to cut this one. I should have cut this one. They're huge caterpillar pillars that love tomato plants. One can de decimate a plant, really. Uh, so you would know if you had them. Yeah, no, I've never had them, Cheryl. I don't know those. Hopefully we don't. Mm. One. One can decimate a tomato plant. Oh my god. Sure, I'll say. time out to all of God. Starsky, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're just doing some uh, pruning. It's not called pruning. It's actually called something else. Where you're getting rid of the bottom leaves of the tomatoes, and you do it for cannabis and I guess other plants as well.
here's the here's two of the tomatoes that were growing one of is elfin cherries elfin cherry tomatoes okay and the other one right now down here that i hit is uh stupis stupis tomatoes You can, now that I'm uh, taking this back, I can see a whole bunch of tomatoes growing inside there, which is fantastic.
and the and the squash that I showed you is called a yellow patty pan. Yellow patty pan squash. Mason Street City Farm. I'm gonna take these two guys down too. Oh no, this one's got flowers on it. This one doesn't though. There. <laughs> nice haircut. Right? Gave a nice haircut. This is what we got, right? I will prune uh, this other big one that I have here uh, after the after I change all the setup of the live stream. Uh, take these guys down so I can get in there. Uh, this guy here. Actually, I could trim it right now a little bit while I read the chat. Is movie stream next week or a couple of weeks from now? I think uh, it won't be next week. It'll be two weeks from now. Okay, I'll announce the schedule after we finish the set uh, mid. We finish on Sunday, I believe. So uh, what we'll do is uh, probably next Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll announce the schedule for the following week. Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Okay. So next week I'm going to be... Uh, we probably won't be streaming. I'm just going to be uploading and uh, getting things set up. I'm just releasing videos. Yeah, I might as well trim this as well. Spider-Man movie or Spider-Man uh, our mod? Spider-Man is uh, is in packing mode. They they were asked by their landlord to leave. Uh, unfortunately, and that's going to be something that's going to be happening a lot in the United States. There's going to be a lot of evictions, and a serious shuffle uh, in terms of. Uh, living space unfortunately which is a weird thing to see happen really we're not seeing too much of it in canada well we were seeing it before but 
Not too much right now. Sucker up. Poor guy. Where's that string that we have? How did I not hear about Spider Man do situation? I'd like to offer assistance in any way I can. Coolio, get in co contact with them. Uh, I think they have to. Is it end? I think they have to end of September. I think it could be end of August too. I'm not 100 or end of. I think it's end of July actually. May, end of August maybe. August elder god okay mid August oh they found the house awesome show that's great that's really good I'm happy for them So these ones, these types of branches, they're pretty large. They got good leaves, but they have no flowers on them. So I'm taking them down. Okay. Not all of them, but some of them that are drooping and covering, not allowing sun to go through. Crisis situation only makes you stronger. Only makes you stronger. If it doesn't kill you, Michi, right? But this kind of situation makes you stronger, makes you more aware. sent out a message of support regardless bad time to be American dude the US is it could also be a good time if you're looking to make changes happen right? positive changes anyway I think uh, Elder God, I. Yeah, no politics. No politics. Later tonight. Later tonight. Later tonight. Apologies if you guys can't see what I'm doing, but we're surrounded by plants. These peaceful streams are just what I 
uh, need after a workout are you planning on any more workout stream um, possibly I think I'm gonna get into just because I'm so busy right now for summer mode just doing the gardening and watering and uh, I haven't even had time to go for my long walks too much lately Nicholas so uh, I think what, what, I, what we'll do we'll get into more of the workout stuff in the fall when I'm in general in the fall I try to eat with the seasons and this is something that uh, you do in the spring and summer you slim down you burn off fat in the fall and winter you're eating heavier foods and that's when I I'm gonna I do heavier workouts in general right so build muscle in the fall and winter uh, lose fat in the spring and summer so that's the cycle I try to follow uh, try to that's the optimum word right I'm sure I will have lots to say about it today Coolio says have phone alarm set so I don't miss the stream yeah this stream is gonna be interesting everyone think plants in peace plants in peace but we will Nicholas I've, I've, I've modified my routine I've added a few things I gotta go get some more heavier dumbbells uh, as well I lift 375 pounds now nice all the dog but right now I'm not even I I'm nowhere near close to being prime as being a being able to do lifting weights and stuff unfortunately but it's okay we do different types of workouts and eating well is the key right eating healthy is ridiculously important like it's everything really almost everything yeah that lockdown wasn't great on my workout routine yeah the bumblebee totally loving it here creating a space for bees fantastic 400 grams of protein a day yikes I actually don't know how much that is how much would that be in a like meat wise How much protein does a eight ounce steak have? Eight ounce, 400 grams. Has it been terribly hot in BC this summer? It just started like last 10 days, two weeks, uh, the eddy. Northeastern US has been unbearable. Yeah, no, we haven't had a heat wave like you guys in the rest of Canada, the United States. Um, There's 60, 69 grams in a steak, so you're eating 400. Wow. <laughs> you must be doing some serious workout. <laughs> a 30 to 32 hour steak. Oh my God. Yeah, Eddie, uh, it just started like two weeks. It's been nice and hot, right? Um, so we had a late summer here. Late summer. It's been hot and super humid in Michigan lately. Tuesday was so humid, it felt like I was swimming through the air. Yikes. Creatine. It's going pretty good. I like it. Mick Silva, how are you doing? Good morning, good morning. The plants are looking way better now. 
I keep being being told to use critting, but no one has explained what it does for me. Nicholas, talk to Elder God. He knows his stuff regarding that. Okay. But I think if you're taking those supplements, you also have to be doing a good workout to use all that. Right? So you can't take all the stuff without the workout. You have to do the workout to be able to absorb all that stuff, right? Speaking of weather, apparently Baghdad is hitting record temperatures of like 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Yikes, 51 degrees Celsius. Wow. My grandfather used to have a saying, um, wherever you can grow dates uh, is not a place to live because it's too hot. Right. And he traveled all over Iran and certain parts of the Arab world and stuff like this. And uh, basically, dates grow in some of the like, hottest climates in the world. Right. two different types of three different types of tomato plants growing in this one big pot uh, and one of the tomatoes <laughs> this is really shrunken down it wasn't able to compete with the other two uh, two uh, types of tomatoes growing yeah see that 420 how are you doing we're doing a little pruning we're doing pruning of tomato plants once I see a little bit of budding on the other plants, I'm going to start pruning the other ones. <laughs> Sitting in lush. I'm a botanist. We try. We try. We try. One day we learn more. This is how much we've taken down so far. Wow, five grams of uh, creatine is creatine, creatine. Uh, I gotta learn how to pronounce that thing. It's like 1.2 kilogram of eating chicken. It's fast protein in four to five small capsules. Wow, wow, wow. energy up creatine creatine thank you very much coolio creatine that's right creatine doesn't creatine also make your muscles retain water adding to the swole look does it i don't know i think elder god does it do that that's the monohydrate version oh so it's a different version so is it like a, acts as a, a steroid to a certain degree? Oh, look at all these flowers. Take it down, take it down. Okay, that's enough. That looks great. Nice haircut. Nice haircut. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Chicho, random question. Have you ever met any of your fans or supporters in real life? I've had, uh, uh, like, when I was doing the, the math videos. Actually, I've, I've met some people, but uh, the, when I was doing the graffiti-style math videos way back in the day uh, in Vancouver, I had a few people, I would I'd be walking, they're like, dude, your math videos, awesome. So they had seen my videos online and they really appreciated that stuff. That's what was the, the first time that I met people uh, when I was just walking around randomly uh, and they really liked what I was doing. And then since then, I've met some people just in the streets, just walking around that have said, hey, you're Chicho, you're Chicho. I met a couple of people in comic book stores that have come up to me and said, hey, you're Chicho, da, 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 da. I had a couple of people in comic book stores come up to me and say, I got back into buying comic books because I saw your video, which is phenomenal, phenomenal. Where's the 420 plants? <laughs> let me put this here. There's one here, here, let me bring it out. trimming those as well in Canada you're allowed to grow we're allowed to grow four yeah cool yeah recognize and talk to and, and the math stuff some people have seen the math stuff they're like man we love the math stuff the 10 by 10 puzzle I had one person say oh going across the street crosswalk in, in this town actually in Victoria we were walking across the street and he looked at me and he turned around and he fall <laughs> and he goes you're Chicho you did the 10 by 10 puzzle that was super cool we talked a little bit and stuff so it was fun hope you're eating fruit it's fruit season guy my fingers are all black because of the trimming pruning I don't know it's just it's fun <laughs> see that 420 so test tolerance first I start she's a beaut she's a beaut thank you <laughs> Randall <laughs> we are lucky in Canada they legalized cannabis. They should have done it 15 years ago, but we had a conservative government in power. There were fanatics, born again Christian, evangelical lunatics. And they put, they set Canada back in terms of this disruptive innovation at least a decade. So Canada could have been on the forefront of the cannabis industry with hundreds of billions of dollars being brought into the country like economically it would have been huge right and because there were fanatics they didn't allow it but in the last three years two years this year actually is the first year i think we're allowed to grow four plants so we're doing it i will be close next i will be close next year to chicho elder god how are you doing come on down to canada or the United States. Right. Interesting. Da, 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 da. If you're referring to uh, four of the 420 plants, Michigan allows individuals to grow up to 12 plants. 12 plants for individual. Oh man, I wish we could grow 12 plants in Canada. I think that's higher than even California's maximum for individual growth. Yeah, I think California and Colorado are six plants. 12 plants. I want to grow 12 plants. Coolio cannabis is weed. It grows like weed. Get cuttings. They grow from seed easy. You get cuttings, just put them in big pots and water them. Right? You'll get something. God dang. I'm in Ohio. So close to Michigan. I don't think Sweden will ever legalize that. Uh, Randall, I think they will at some point. 
the war america's war on drugs is ending any country that doesn't end the war on drugs sooner rather than later is behind the times economically they'll have to end it all right cheryl i can't even grow uh clean moon flower without getting comments about the similarity in leaf shape and slightly skunk smell one day chicho i'll get to turn my green thumb towards a new channel oh cheryl you would your plant <laughs> like gigantic with buds this big <laughs> i say definitely canada over the u.s right now seattle is very close i only got we're sort of sister cities was way different same climate very close there's actually a boat ferry from downtown where i am victoria that goes to downtown seattle nice you have access to get sea school yeah cool 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 so uh is it four plants per household for you or per it's per household four plants per household so if your partner wanted to grow four plants and you grow four plants with that no it wouldn't be allowed unfortunately it's not allowed which is silly right what if there's a household that there's eight people that all eight people require medical cannabis you can only grow four plants it's ridiculous and they don't say size of the plants some people and the, there's a restriction you can't the plants can't be um you can't see them from the street right so they you, yeah they have to be in the backyard or somewhere where you can't see them from the street it's weird i mean those regulations will end they're just it's the first year of being rolled out right raspberries and blueberries blueberries <laughs> let me put the lid on here so the bees don't go crazy see you next year then awesome elder god i'm off to the to meet my uh sifu sifu well he got me into wing chu wing chun so you do some martial arts i'm assuming okay gang should we call this a stream let's call the stream how long you've been doing going at this up time hour and a half not bad hour and a half in the morning uh in the patio doing some gardening harvesting life is good right you have to be a super soldier pub owner you have to be if you're a pub owner you gotta you gotta know what you're doing man thanks chicho my pleasure see death 420 Take care, everyone. Look nice and relaxing. Looks nice and relaxing. It's a great way to start the day. Aside from that, gang, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, I'll see you guys tonight if you can make it. We're doing a current events politics live stream. The odds are we will not be uploading that one to YouTube. It will most likely be BitChute exclusive from now on, the current events stuff. Uh, most likely. We'll see. My pleasure, Nicholas. And gang, that's a requirement of my pub. It's a requirement in almost any club. Uh, to be physically able to take care of yourself and your patrons and your customers and your employees and stuff see you at the stream tonight Starsky Chicho, when you grow cannabis how bad is the smell not bad on a 1 to 10 scale how much uh, can you smell within a 10 meter radius within a 10 meter radius when it's full bloom 10 <laughs> but it's not bad <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. For in the UK. Good morning, Elder God. Or tonight, it's going to be 4 a.m. in the morning. Thank you for the stream. Great day, everyone. Great day. No way. Finishing up. Finishing now, Starsky. Gang, if you want to know who I am, I'm on Patreon. I don't put anything behind paying walls. Everything is great. Comment, share, and share, like. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. I do announce these live streams on Twitter, Gavs, Minds, VKLO on Parlor, either just before we go live or 30 minutes for scheduled streams that we have. For a lot of the open discussions, we do upload the audio to SoundCloud. 
okay? When we're talking about economics, politics, education, whatnot, when we're sitting down, there's an individualism at play. And we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. And if you want to support this work, if you are on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership and by following, supporting, subscribing on Twitch, Patreon, Twitter, and all that, all these different platforms we're on is a fantastic way to support this project. And uh, thanks for being here. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening for anyone else that's uh, in way, way uh, different time zones than we are, gang. And uh, I'll see you guys in about, well, a little bit less than 12 hours. We're going to talk politics, gang. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, everyone. 8 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah, dragons.